And today we focus on the ongoing standoff between government and uh, the local manufacturers over the much talked about tax stamp policy, which takes effect from the 1st of March. Now, the excise uh, tax stamp uh, law uh, was passed by Parliament in 2013 to halt tax evasion in the manufacturing sector. Now, the policy will affect alcoholic beverage and water bottle producers, among others, but the day to its implementation, how prepared are the manufacturers? Charles Aite has more in this report. The rollout of the tax stamp policy on the 1st of March has packed a gridlock between government and businesses as the mold of implementation continues to be fiercely debated. While affected businesses are proposing a digital system that will electronically embolse the stamps on all accessible products, government, on the other hand, is also opting for the fiscal affixing of the stamps by a specialized machine in the course of production. Members from the Food and Beverage Authority are kicking against this policy as they say that it could stem out as a very grave challenge to local producers. The Food and Beverage Association has been leading a fierce advocacy against the tax stamp policy. Policy. They fear the implementation of the policy will shoot up prices of drinks, including bottled water in the market. James Agri is executive secretary of the association. If a company like Guinness or Accra Brewery will go manual, how many weeks would they be able to produce about 200 cartons for the market? You see, and 200 cartons is produced in about a minute. You see? So it will be very difficult for us to get the manual affixed for industry. If it comes to importers, we have some of them who bring in maybe uh, 20 cartons of an item, 10 cartons of an item. This one, it's easier for them to do it. So if it comes to manual affixing, we don't have any problem, but it will also have to do with uh, the smaller companies. If it comes to big industries, this is not the way to go. But despite all these concerns, we still have the finance minister saying that there is still no way going back. What do you have to say about this? If there's no way going back, when we get to that point, we will cross it. Because what we are going to do on the first is that all the products that are not affixed with stamps, which are going to be withdrawn off the shelf, including the productions that they have done, we are going to trailer everything to Tema. They said they have a facility there, so we'll send it to them for them to affix the stamps there. And we'll see how many weeks or months they'll be able to do for Coca-Cola or even uh, 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 Accra Brewery or Guinness. So if all of us are there, are you going to ask Coca-Cola to wait for it to finish affixing for uh, Accra Brewery? Or you ask Accra Brewery to wait for it to finish to do doing for uh, 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 Guinness? No. Then it means that monopoly is going to rear its head in, in, in as to how businesses should go. All right. Everybody must run business without any hindrance or whatever. Finally, you talked about the issue of you know placing tax stamps on bottled water and its attendant effects. Does this presupposes that we should be expecting a hike in the prices of bottled bottled water in the near future in the wake of this policy? With this policy, let me tell you, they're only getting us to roll it out. In the next one year, two years going, don't be surprised that if you are buying your beer, they tell you tax stamp one city is imposed on it. If you are buying your water, maybe the big bottle, 50 pesos or one city is imposed on it. It's only a game. You understand? And once you get yourself involved, you will not be able to disentangle yourself. So that is why we are, we are asking them to tread cautiously. We took the matter quite further to speak to some leading manufacturing firms who produce bottled drinks in large quantities. Our first stop was the Blue Group of Companies, manufacturers of Bellaqua Mineral Water. Chairman of the group, Manoj Lakiani, who chose to speak off camera, tells Joy Business the company will have to invest over 800,000 US dollars on investments and installation charges for their fixing machines. To him, their only option is to shut down their plant when the policy rolls out on the 1st of March. How are we going to survive? Yeah. We'll shut down our plant. Do we have a choice? 
we believe at least for a year from now, let them monitor the imports. Once that is working efficiently, then we local manufacturers know it is working and now we have the courage to invest in the lines because we don't want to invest and tomorrow it doesn't work. Then during that six months phase, we can all then start investing on the lines start working on loans and all and get the lines down. But first they should monitor imports. If it's working with the imports, then fine, we can come on board. I will convert Belacqua to sachet water because there's no tax stamp on sachet water. Am I right? So what you are, basically we are trying to say, we encourage to produce sachet water. At the end of the day, bottled water and sachet water is water. So why are they taxing bottled water and not sachet water? Are they encouraging all bottled water companies to move to sachet water? At the same time, they're complaining about menace in society. So where is the, what is, what is going on? So we should all convert to sachet water, or bottled water is prestigious, so it should be tax stamped. There are many countries all over the world who I know are applying this tax stamp, but there should be proper education. They, we need more time. We, sh we should see that is working with the imports. The main concern for me is that imports, imported products should have it first. The situation was never different when we visited the factory and warehouse of Coca-Cola Bottling Company at Spintex in Accra. At the warehouse of the Coca-Cola Bottling uh, Company, you could find, based on our searches, that there hasn't been the establishment of any form of an affixing machine ahead of the rollout of the tax stamp policy, as local manufacturers vehemently kick against this very policy. Head of Corporate Affairs at the Coca-Cola bottling plant at Spintex in Accra, Bethel Yeboah tells Joy Business his outfit is still engaged in government for a reconsideration of the tax stamp policy. Before you would have um, the tax stamp on the product, it will mean that first and foremost you have acquired the affixing machine and then you have the stamps and for that matter you are affixing. But currently, as you know, I'm talking to you now, we have not you know, acquired the, the affixing machine. And so you would definitely not see you know, uh, a tax stamp on our products. Okay. Typically, if we were to see a tax stamp on this product, where would we have seen it? Which, which part of the bottle? Okay, currently, according to the policy, it's supposed to be affixed in a manner that would be visible to the average consumer who goes to purchase at a, a, a shop outlet. Okay, so it would have to be affixed you know, on top you know, of the closure, as, as my hands indicate over here. You see tens of cartons of bottled, you know, uh, products here. Now all these cartons do not have the tax stamps on them. The Coca-Cola Bottling Company is one of the largest local manufacturing companies in Ghana, producing close to 100,000 cartons of bottled soft drinks into the wholesale and retail market. Just like them, several other local manufacturing firms would have to work out ways of injecting over $600,000 on investment and insulation charges for the affixing machines. But despite these concerns, government says the rollout of the policy still holds. Koko Kwarteng is a deputy minister of finance. We have taken a law to parliament, the Income Tax Act of 2015, to get an amendment in order that we can do accelerated capital allowance for those importers and manufacturers who invest in equipment that will allow them to affix the stamps to their products. We have done all this and given ample time so that we will not have the concerns we are hearing now. But six months on, we are still being told that there are still products on the market and therefore we need to wait further. We are unable to wait forever. We will go ahead and implement uh, the law and make sure that the policy works. We will continue to listen to the concerns of stakeholders but I have to say, as respectfully as I can, that expressing these concerns cannot be a substitute for obeying a law passed by, by, by Parliament, and a law that we are, we are all required to enforce. Hmm. So the only real way out for affected manufacturers and importers is to comply, and then we can 
realize the necessary revenue. As the standoff between government and local manufacturers protracts, it is clear that much has not been done to whip up the interests of local manufacturers on the much talked about excise stamp policy. For AM Business, Charles Aita reporting.